Hey guys, I'm Chris Buck and a very warm welcome to Friday Fretworks. On this week's video, I'm going to be taking a closer look at my brand new guitar this week, and that is my grey guitar, Emperor. Now, Stratocaster is the word we're going to dance around for the remainder of this video if we don't get it out of the way sooner rather than later, and that is undoubtedly what it's based on. But before we get too heavily into the kind of finer specs and details of this guitar, I should give you a very quick overview on how I met Tom Gray and how this guitar came to be in fruition. Now, I think like a lot of people who may be familiar with Tom or his work, first saw him on Anderson's TV. Anderson's have been stocking Tom's guitars now for a little while, and I remember watching Lee's interview with Tom, just kind of covering the kind of basics, I guess, his background, how he came to make guitars, how long he's been making guitars, interestingly, and just a little bit of a kind of personal backstory as to Tom. And, you know, I just remember being very kind of just impressed by how genuinely he came across and how candid he is about the fact that in the grand scheme, he's not really been making guitars all that long. It's just something that he discovered that he kind of had this incredible natural aptitude for. Um, so when he approached me to ask if I'd be interested in having a guitar by him, it kind of felt like a little bit of a no-brainer, to be honest. Couple that with the fact that the one guitar of his I had played um, is another Emperor, even, in Daphne Blue, which, hand on heart, is amongst the nicest strats that I've ever played. It was just absolute perfection. It's his demo guitar that he takes around shows, so more than likely you will have seen it if you've ever attended maybe the Birmingham Guitar Show or the London Guitar Show or any of these kind of things. It will have been that blue strat. And as I said, it's just a stunning bit of work. So when he asked me for the kind of specs of what I was going to have, pretty much just said make me that guitar but stick my pickups in it and that's where we are today so just to run you through the specifications of this guitar first and foremost we have an older body in daphne blue with a matte nitro finish it's a really kind of nice smooth finish that's obviously going to kind of ding up over time and kind of get to look a little bit older as i do um, we have a quarter sawn flame roasted maple neck. Now, I've never been one for kind of more exotic looking guitars, but I just think it's an incredible bit of craftsmanship, if nothing else. Uh, Tom's fairly confident that this is going to make the neck more stable, but irrespective of any of that, it's just absolutely stunning to look at. Uh, we have an ebony fingerboard. That was one of the stipulations I had, is make the fingerboard as dark as you can get it. I love that kind of dark, almost black kind of appearance. Uh, we have a 9.5 to 12 inch compact radius neck. Um, it has Stumac 152 or 152 stainless steel frets. It's got a wood tone tremolo. We've got Gota Vintage Tuners. Uh, we've got obviously my signature pickups. We've got Push Push Neck Blender. Really cool little thing. Comes into its own, uh, especially on positions two and one, where you flick it up or kind of push it up and you can blend in the neck pickup, which is a very cool thing, especially for fattening up uh, your kind of bridge tone sound on a Strat. Very cool. Going to get a lot of use out of that. And then we've got CTS pots. We have a CRL switch. And lastly, of orange drop caps. A lot of that is over my head, to be honest. Um, all I know and all I utterly care about is it plays beautifully, it feels insanely good in my hand. I've set this up with 11s. I wanted something that felt a little bit stiffer than my Highway 1, which is strung with 10 to 46. Um, find myself overbending on occasion, playing live, obviously adrenaline, kind of playing a little bit of a part, and just, you know, kind of uh, getting a little bit stronger in the hand, I guess, the more I play. So I wanted set up something that was set up with 11s, and I wanted something that was going to be able to uh, kind of do that Jeff Beck kind of flick of the tremolo kind of thing. Not necessarily the Hank Marvin kind of up and down, so much as just a kind of very little kind of semitone flick, I guess, here and there. Um, and that's pretty much it, to be honest, in regard to specs. As I said, it's just an absolutely stunning bit of work, and it is easily amongst the nicest guitars that I own. It's just 
beautifully put together, beautifully made. Tom's attention to detail is fantastic. Just everything about this guitar is incredibly impressive, and I can see myself getting a lot of use out of it. So I'm going to play you out, just th show you through some of the tones, I guess, and show you that kind of push-push, uh, kind of blender switch, and just, you know, jam out for a little bit. So as ever, I've been Chris Buck. This is Friday Fretworks. Thank you very much for watching. I shall see you next week for another episode. Cheers, guys. Take care. Thank you.